Hello! For this week's video I will be reviewing Flying Monsters, which was written and presented by the amazing Sir David Attenborough and was also produced by Sky and Atlantic Productions. So, let's get started. CGI the CGI in Flying Monsters was really good and I was very impressed with it. There were some flaws when trying to create pterosaurs and showing the pterodactyls that had fur and were most likely warm-blooded, but apart from that, I was very happy with the CGI. It looked very good. Most of it was 100% CGI, so even the background settings were also CGI, but it was still very good. There were very few areas where I thought, hmm, it didn't look so good. But I really liked that, so for Flying Monsters, it is definitely a top rating show when it comes down to CGI. Fossil Evidence The fossil evidence in Flying Monsters was very good. It was good to show the evolution of pterosaurs and what a pterosaur is, and it also showed the audience that pterosaurs are not dinosaurs. I was also happy to see that Mary Anning's work was shown. She wasn't a scientist, back then women couldn't be scientists and she was working class. But she made some important breakthroughs in science, so it was great to see her work shown throughout Flying Monsters. Even though Flying Monsters was very accurate, it did make some flaws. For example, it suggested that pterosaurs were not so specialised, yet later in the show a pterosaur was seen that was actually a filter feeder. And Flying Monsters did also get the names of some pterosaurs mixed up, but these are actually the major problems. So it didn't actually do a bad job in actually making the show very accurate. So I'm happy that at least the show actually stayed at a level that was very accurate, even though it did have some flaws and mistakes. Presentation The show was written, presented and narrated by the amazing Sir David Attenborough, and I was really happy that he was behind the show. It was very accurate, and it seemed that he put all the important bits together in this show, and it could definitely be seen, so I was really happy with that. Conclusion Overall, I thought it was very, very good. It had some fantastic CGI, some fantastic fossil evidence. It did have some mistakes and flaws, but they were tiny compared to some other shows. And David Attenborough was behind the show, and it was absolutely amazing. So overall, I would give it a rating of 9 out of 10. I was really impressed by it. I really liked it. The only thing that stopped it getting the full rating was the fact that there were some flaws in the CGI and there were some mistakes. But apart from that, Flying Monsters is definitely one of the most accurate shows that is around at the moment. So if you ever get the opportunity, I would recommend that you watch it. So I hope you like this, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will be making new videos soon. So I'll see you guys later.